the daily struggle of millions with an invisible disability. It's that day after day grind of having to prove yourself, of not being believed, or being judged, that can really, you know, break people down. Many suffering in silence or being ignored. The mainstream don't understand his invisible disability and he gets put down as naughty. That would cause him to have meltdowns. Another family who fought for a diagnosis are the parents of 11-year-old Josh. They feel let down by the system as they've spent years trying to get him a place in an appropriate school. Yeah. What's up, Joshua is loving, he's caring, he's helpful, he's mischievous, he's all the things a normal boy is. Oh, how great thing for you, Daddy. His parents waited months in the education system to get him a diagnosis. In the end, they paid a psychiatrist privately to find out he is at the higher end of the autism spectrum. Josh's traits are what some experts call pathological demand avoidance. On a bad day, swearing, shouting, punching, almost like a kind of a, a Jekyll and Hyde, really. It's meant Josh's parents have been looking for another school for nearly three years. The mainstream sector, a lot don't understand his invisible disability and he gets put down as naughty. That would cause him to have meltdowns and then later led on to school refusal. And it's been a really challenging time. It's affected him. And you know, to see him deteriorate and really not having that support there, it's been very hard, very hard. Um, sorry. he now has a place and starts at a specialist school in September but his parents have advice for others who have children with special needs. We've stuck together, we've been strong as a family and we've fought for a school for him. All he's getting is what every child is entitled to. He's got a future now. In England, some pupils with additional needs can have up to a five-year wait for both diagnosis and support. But complex brain conditions like Josh has aren't unique to children. There's been an apparent upsurge in adults, including high-profile women like former Love Islander Olivia Atwood, getting diagnosed with ADHD. Living with any disability is hard, especially when you can't see it. Do not let your illness limit you. Don't be scared to speak up. That's it for tonight's programme, but if you want to continue the conversation, please join in using the hashtag ITVTonight on Twitter, as well as visiting our Facebook and Instagram pages, and our website, itv.com forward slash tonight. But for now, good evening, and thank you for watching. Coming up next week, 